you know, this move with Paul Wobolo and the Atlanta Falcons is pretty much security and depth uh, move. You, in the NFL draft, you just never know what could happen. A team could, you know, uh, make make a deal for with another team and draft a guy ahead of you, move ahead of you and draft a guy like Darren Lee or a Reggie Ragland. So you never know what could happen. Atlanta Falcons have the 17th pick, so there's no guarantee that uh, Lee or Ragland will be there at the 17th pick. But, you know, you want to have guys like Sean Weatherspoon, uh, Paul Wobolo. You know, although Weatherspoon has had injuries, uh, pretty much injury uh, problems with injuries for the last couple of years, um, a, a very good, a very good talent, but you know, not a guy that you want to uh, lean on. Paul Wobble, on the other hand, he's a a pretty good uh, linebacker you could uh, count on to be, you know, above average. Um, not a guy that's gonna, you know. He's not a world beater. He's not a superstar. He just, you know, he is what he is. He's an average player, um, a guy that you could use for depth. Um, you can use him in certain situations. Pass coverage is definitely not one of those. So, um, you know, again, the NFL draft is very unpredictable. You do not want to be caught off guard. So with the Atlanta Falcons, um, this move, the Atlanta Falcons are pretty much just, you know, it's all about security. You want to have a backup plan just in case things don't go the way you plan in the NFL draft. Um, I s expect the way things are structured right now with the roster, um, it would seem more than likely that the Falcons will be drafting a linebacker whether it be Darren Lee or Reggie Ragnar, those are my uh, picks off up front. Um, but other than that, you know, it seems as though don't don't look too much into, you know, the Paul Wobolo signing um, as far as him being a starter right now. Um, it just seems though, it seems as though he is there just for security. Um, I do not expect anyone to re-sign Paul Wobolo uh, off of Paul Wobolo a contract um, and, you know, Falcons get a, a second round pick from a team because he's a restricted free agent. Um, so I, I highly d I doubt that happened. But for the most part, this move is security, um, you know, and the Falcons uh, need security because, you know, again, I repeat, the draft is very unpredictable. You never know who – is going to try to jump up uh, and get a guy before you, make a move for a guy like, um, you know, Reggie Ragland and Dan Lee. So the Falcons want to be uh, careful. They want to cover all bases, and that's exactly what this move is. So with that said, your boy Mad Mike is out, and peace, I'm gone, baby.